asked for it. Victory or death. Hmm. Mage. It's tough to say what kind of mage he's going to play. I haven't played against many mages, but yeah, since the mad scientist came out, it's very likely that there's some sort of mad scientist mage with a lot of secrets. People used to play a lot of giants mage, freeze mage, but now they have a tendency to play the old school mid range mage with a lot of secrets. And, yeah. Maybe he's like even a death rattle mage, who knows. Back to work. So I kinda have to mulligan more early game mid rangey. Usually Vori has a favorite matchup against mage if they play a burst mage. Okay, this is very interesting. I could reveal and then clear the board. I'll actually even do that. I like that more than just playing the Cochrane Elite and the Cochrane Elite will get pinked next turn. So I will just fight him out next turn. Foygen out. Coin out the Foygen. He can play a water elemental but Foygen is stronger. And I always might draw a shield, shield block. I'll show them. Let's see this. I'll show them all. I think it's worth it to use my Taskmaster. I could also just play the Sludge Belcher. Then he kills my Sludge Belcher for free, which is kind of weird. I wonder. I'm made it to work. What to do? What to do? I still don't have like information of what kind of minions he's going to play. He might play like giants still in this deck and drakes. Something like hype played.
Strike. Like if he gets, yeah, uh, I just kill um, him. No big deal. Put a shield slam it, but he will probably play bigger minions than that. So this is probably an ice block or counter spell. He's probably playing like all sorts of secrets. Might have to kill him to fatigue. Yeah, I will kill him to fatigue. I mean, I have a huge card disadvantage right now. Luthor does Undertakers and Mad Scientist, so yeah, Harvest Golems and all the Death Rattle minions. He probably even has the Spiders, the Haunted Creepers. It's so weird that he is just not playing minions. Like last turn, for example, he just played Arcane Intellect. So he might not have, like, um, two strong minions. Okay, that's pretty sick. So, he prevents a draw. Hmm, double execute. Ah, it's not worth executing right now. Any of those guys. Maybe this one. It's such a huge card, is it? I don't even know. Strike. I have to play like this, I think. I don't really need to draw my big stuff and stall the game as long as possible. If I had a brawl it would be much easier to just not use anything. But the brawl could theoretically be my last card of my deck. What to do? What to, what to do? do? I don't know man. So he doesn't have a secret in his hand, right? Yeah. Sometimes it's bugged. Nice. I also have to do this. I could execute this one, but I don't feel like it. Strike. Yeah, he can Strike. kill my board anyways. Might attack ping, and then use this. I really want him to use the slime to, yeah, kill my one one. That's a good coin. Mm. Oh man, I have to execute the slime. So I can kill off the... He's doing too much damage for sure. I can kill off the mad scientist randomly with the weapon. 
so I can kill another mid-range creature with the weapon, it's 5 damage. I probably have to wait till I draw my uh, Acolyte to get value out of the weapon. I hope he has more card draw minions. Right now, really, I'm going for the fatigue win. So basically, if he's not playing stuff, all right, this is now very different. Let the pain speak to me. Okay, I guess. I can basically almost play anything I draw. Okay, that's actually good. <laughs> oh, the craziness. I didn't need to draw cards. Oh, well. This is weird for him. I hope he can't buff his armor smith. So I don't I get only one card draw. Hope he can't silence my minion as well. I really need the card draw. What to do? What to do? I might use a, a, a well flame strike. Here. At least I get one card draw. Oh, might be useful right now, but then we have to I don't care if he gets armor. Right now he has only 2 damage with the hero power, so I can just heal myself every turn. I really wonder what he has in his hand. Must be like fireballs. Maybe even a pyroblast. No, I don't want to take the damage on my frothing berserker. What now? He might fireball it. What to do? What to do?
to do. What to I have do. no time for games. I'm almost out of cards. Hmm. So this is well. I've been <laughs> not commentating this so much because I'm basically waiting for him to uh, draw his entire deck and uh, dying to fatigue. Like he has the savannas, which is really annoying, especially now. Yeah, I can't play this card. I can't play any of my cards right now. I need something that deals more damage. I have a lot of, like, I still ha at least have uh, the Gohar left. I think I have uh, another weapon left besides Gohar. Might have something like a Taskmaster or some or a Whirlwind. Something what that deals more damage. What to do? Yeah, I mean, I can definitely not play one of those cards I have right now. So he has, he has to do something. He can't win with just the Savannas. So he has to make a decision here. I don't even care. I can use my Alexstrasza for healing myself. Like I really don't care about the damage he deals. For now at least. Can I go for the 50-50? He can ping his own Savannas and take off my minions, so I can't play anything here. Uh, if his Savannah survives, that's really bad. So I have to wait one more turn. I can't also play uh, like the BGH in Brawl because if your Savannah dies he gets my BGH as well. So it's actually a very... So he basically expects me to not have Brawl at this point. I mean he's kind of going all in. It's He's in a tough spot, like he gets fatigue damage but he should play around Brawl. He had enough damage on the board, he has 8 damage per turn. But now I have a very good Brawl. Yeah, especially with the unstable bull. Maybe I should play Unstable Ghoul. Nah, I will not play Unstable Ghoul. So 
so since Sylvanas is dead, it's very nice. Okay, I wonder which one he got. Did he get the... I don't care if he got Sylvanas, we really have to play the Stalag. He might got have gotten the Sylvanas back. If he has two Sylvanas, that's actually really, really dangerous. But we'll see. He might have like, I, but I really try to think what he has. So I he has one minion twice. He should have fireballs. Maybe he doesn't play fireballs, but he could have like two fireballs and uh, two Sylvanas. I wonder how it works, the duplicate with the brawl. If he gets the first minion back, which would be Sylvanas. Hmm. Really curious. No time for games. So he can fireball. Okay, here's a sheep. So it's not taking my minion. Makes sense, I guess. So he has two Sylvanas, which is crazy. Huh, Acolyte not good. I have to go. Hmm. Tough, tough. Tough, tough, tough spot. What now? Mm. The Savas is like the, the, the most dangerous minion he could have. But if I attack him, my Gromash goes down to 6 life, so he will still take it. I think I should have to play the Gomarsh here. What now? I can wait for I like that. So Yes, I wonder what this last card is. I really wonder if it is a fireball or something like that. Well, he has one more Savannah. Oh, he has a fireball. Oh, that is 100% okay because I have the Alexstrasza left. Maybe it's not okay because obviously he has one more Savannah. Windrunner. Oh, this is very tough. Okay, that's good though. I've got the beast in my sights. So can't play the Echolite. Maybe I could. Because he can get the Echolite. But maybe I need the Echolite to kill his Sylvanas. Yeah, I don't want to take the damage. Let the pain speak to me. I should be fine. I take with both minions into his Sylvanas. Use my Alexstrasza and win the game. That was actually a pretty crazy game. Three Sylvanas as a warrior. Really annoying. It's all about solving the puzzle. Hmm. He's thinking if there's like a way to... I mean he can ping his own Sylvanas, attack the BGH and steal my Acolyte, but that's not good because he would just fatigue faster. He's thinking what I have left. I mean, I only have one card in my hand and one card left in my deck. 
So if I attack with my ac uh, acolyte, I'm also fatiguing faster. From this perspective, it's also very interesting. Anyways, is that lethal? I think. I think it's even lethal. He's at five fatigue damage. Seven, eight. 13. Yeah, it's not lethal this turn, gotcha. so I'm not gonna risk anything here. He's playing it safe. Interesting. 